Welcome in, everybody. I'm Devin O'Day. Got a big old show planned for you. So much happening in Middle Tennessee. And we're going to kick things off with what's happening this Saturday. Leslie Satcher, co-writer of a song for George Strait called The Troubadour, one of my favorite songs ever. And then, of course, she is an artist in her own right. She is a fine artist. She does her own painting that is incredible. I wish you could check that out. But she's going to be on the stage. Her, her blues album is second to none. She recorded it in Muscle Shoals and she was on stage at Backstage Nashville a while back. We captured that, but you can capture her next performance this Saturday at 12.30. Third and Lindsley, I'm the host every week. Some songs can hang around for a long time on a shelf. This song hung around for about six or seven years on a shelf. We wrote this song, me and Big Al Anderson and Cheryl Crow. I wrote it about six years ago. And she just cut it on her new record, Bless Her Little Self. I knew it was a big deal, but I hadn't heard it yet. And my friend called me and got it on the radio a couple weeks back. He said, man, how many legends can you get on one song? And I went, what are you talking about? He said, my gosh. He said, it's got Stevie Nicks on it. And I went, Stevie Nicks? He said, Joe Walsh. I went, what? Vince Gill, that good looking boy. And then this little girl named Maren Morris. And old Cheryl Crow. Well, it wouldn't take much to prove you wrong. It wouldn't take much to prove you wrong. I got my mind made up and my high heels on. It wouldn't take much to prove you wrong. It wouldn't take much to prove me wrong You said if you left I'd be drowning in a pool of tears Cause without you baby I'd be sad and lonely No one will love me around here Well it wouldn't take much to prove you wrong It wouldn't take much to prove you wrong I got my mind made up and my high heels on it wouldn't take much to prove you wrong. It wouldn't take much to prove you wrong. Come on, Ray. Well, <coughs> excuse me, uh, swallowed a fly. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we are having a very, very cool event today at the Christmas place. Y'all be just real. <coughs> the Christmas place, you know it from Pigeon Forge. It is in Mount Juliet now. And the grand opening 
is today. It is all day. Lots of special prizes, lots of special prices. They've got a $1,000 shopping spree you can register for. It is all day long in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. And I started to go over there, but I found a travel log from a couple. They are the cutest couple ever. And they go to all sorts of places and they just take you along with them. Um, it's Kayla and Casey. You can follow their YouTube channel. They're just cutest buttons. And I, you know, I can do all sorts of TV things. We can have all sorts of TV personalities uh, cover events, but nobody covers a real event the way real people do. And uh, you're going to want to follow them everywhere. They're adorable. They're from Mount Juliet and you can follow their YouTube channel, but let's follow them right now to the Christmas place in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. It's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. I mean, I could work here year round. I don't even know where to start. It's cute. Yeah, they got cute little dog, dog. What do you call these? Scars? Bandanas? Bandanas. Oh yeah. Cookie tester. Yeah, they're cookie testers. I like Santa's favorite little wiggle play. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite one. Yeah. See, that's oh, all kinds of stuff. Tree we made. Yeah, we don't need nothing bigger than that for the Chris for the Santa tree, but we're gonna have to get one. <clears throat> Want some chocolate covered strawberries? Look at these. Oh, they're squishy. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either. That's kinda cool. It's almost like a little Ooh, stress ball. Good. I don't know, you about could eat that and look they got little cupcakes down here. You can eat one. <laughs> I don't want them. Look how weird. squishy they are. I know. Look at this Santa. And I'm a pink hat and a wink. That's like my hat that I wear for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, your Christmas hat. When you stop believing in Santa, you get underwear. <laughs> oh, there's the Santa. Oh, with I the like red that hat. Santa, yeah. Yeah, you know, I like that. Oh, I love Christmas. Can you watch a Christmas movie? Oh, yeah. Did you ever have one of these? A, a ma Santa magic key? We had like a key, that's how Santa got into our house. What is this? An elf one. bell? Yeah. One of Santa's reindeer is here. Does he move? No, he don't move. What if I touch him and he moves? And he moved. Wow, fourteen twenty-nine. And you too can own one of Santa's reindeer. Hey. He looks real. I like this sign down here too. Downy. Yeah, he looks real. He's really huge. Looks He's real. life size. Could I have that? I don't know if he'll fit in my office year round though. Yeah. It's kind of old school looking. Yeah. That's real cute. I love that this is going to be here year round. This is 15 minutes from our house. Right. I think this shop was like made for, for me and a, <laughs> for you since you're my Mrs. Claus. Here's, look at all these ornaments. Tons of 2021 ornaments. The Mayor oh, Nutcracker. Uh, look, Yoda Nutcracker. Look at him. They don't have baby Yoda though. Star Wars and I got Woody. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look, Elvis Nutcracker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this one's bedazzled Elvis. We got the claymation sandies out here. Rudolph and I forget his girlfriend's name. We got your Disney characters. I might need this book, Santa Claus, the Book of Secrets. Mm. I need that. Yeah. Who has a baby I can buy this for? This is so cute. Well, would a boy or a girl or it either could wear it, right? Yeah, I guess so. I got oh, tons of candle options and melts. I think we're going to get this one. Now get us something that smells good because Christmas and fall kind of smells all the same. Yeah. So get something good smelling. So cute. Mm. I want this big light up sign. Oh, yeah. oh, look at this chandelier. Let's get us a shop right here. The Christmas sign. They are the absolute cutest. Kayla and Casey follow their travels on YouTube. They have their own YouTube channel and they are truly adorable. And I got permission uh, from Casey to, to air that. And thank you so much. We appreciate it. Today as the grand opening at the Christmas place, the celebration all day long. Uh, if you want to see Santa, you can go see Santa Monday through Friday from 3 to 8 p.m. And Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sundays noon to 6. And they've also got a time to meet the Grinch. 
You can meet on November 7th. You can meet the Grinch from noon to 3 p.m. And don't forget, sign up for their wonderful giveaway to win $1,000 at the incredible Christmas place in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Well, I've got some of my buddies. Oh, they're going to be joining me. I'm going to change this little view right here and add my friends. How? Kimo and James from Cash Creek. They got a big old event. How are you guys? Look at there. Hey, we're doing good, lady. How are you doing? Good. Cash Creek Club Live with Henry Paul, Ty Herndon, Drew Womack, and Cash Creek. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Yeah. It's going to be a big old time. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been? We've been good, you know, just hammering away, doing what we can. <laughs> Producing okay. everybody and their sister. What's that? I said producing everybody and their sister. I yeah, mean, right. y'all are in the studio all the time, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. What's Cash Creek been up to? Let's see. We've we've been doing this uh, this Cash Creek Club thing over at the Nashville Palace now for this will be our fourth one, right? Yeah. We started over at New York City Bar and Grill and kind of got it built there and kind of outgrew that place. So now we're we're in the wow. in the bathroom there and. Um, We've we we've actually started posting the a lot of the video on um, our YouTube channel, Cash Creek Club Live, which which you can go to and watch the single performances. But we taped the entire shows for uh, the new street streaming network, uh, Nashville Country Television Network. So, um, oh man, we we've already got three three in the can with Richard McDonald, um, Tim Rushlow. Keith Wright, and um, right now when we opened uh, the next one that's coming out is the one that we did in August at the Palace, and it's Larry Stewart from Restless Heart. It's um, Carolyn Don Johnson, who's just <laughs> amazing, and we had um, Ira Dean this the same oh. month that that his that Air Lewis song went number one. So that's that's pretty cool. So we, it, it was a big old time, and and uh, yeah, we we're doing this every month, you know, because. And we got nothing else. We to got do. nothing. Yeah, yeah, right. right hey, yes. You know what? But the mother of invention. That's the deal. Ira Dean is the one that gave me my nickname. He calls me the earth mother of music row. And I said, I'll take that. I'll take that. You know, come to me, my children. That's perfect. That's, that's perfect. Well, you know, everybody loves Devin. Well, right <laughs> back at you. <laughs> right back mom. at you. That's hilarious. Well, you know, you what you listed and and this time having people it's like a 90s country explosion there at at Nashville Palace. That's just crazy good. Yeah, we we you know, we've that's when we came up in the business. That's you know, that that's all of our heroes and all of our you, you know, so we always we always want to remember that time. And, and it's so funny because right. I remember like in the seventies and eighties, it was like, ah, you know, what's all this new stuff. And now here we are now we're looking back on that with such nostalgia and such, uh, you know, soundtrack of our lives. Mm -hmm. as our, but I mean, th these artists, they truly are our heroes. I mean, when we first started it, the whole idea kind of grew from, you know, we want to do an album where we have all of our people. And then we had T Graham Brown was brave enough to come in on the first one and, and cut, kind of, break it in right we're just like man i mean that we get to play with these guys it's just it you know it's just it's it's a dream come, come true all the who time. all have you played with now speaking of you know you know people that don't aren't familiar with cash creek they might have seen you in as the band for several different artists oh yeah yeah sure and, and um i mean i i play with alabama now and uh and J john michael montgomery but um We've gosh darn it, we've we've backed so it's many a long folks. Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, We'd be here for a long time, but yeah. let's just suffice to say, '90s country wouldn't. We, you you were pretty much in, in a lot of the bands of '90s country, and you are still making great music today. Tell us a little bit about how people can go to your show. First of all, they can subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yes. At Cash Creek Club Live. Yes. And that's and that's that. But let's look at this particular show right here mm -hmm. cash creek club live and that is going to be november 3rd oh my gosh it's tomorrow night tomorrow night, tomorrow night yeah. yeah what is the cover charge 10 bucks 10 bucks to That's see it. henry paul from blackhawk ty herndon drew womack who is doing a fantastic job by the way uh heading up uh lone star oh yeah just kill uh, him 
killing we it. Where one night we could have Drew and Richie McDonald on the same show. <laughs> See, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. We we had Richie last month, and it was like, oh boy. But uh, uh, I I also got word that uh, Keech is coming out tonight to heckle. Oh, so <laughs> tonight's my night to heckle Drew. So and and you know Keech. Keech oh. Lone Star's drummer, just a great dude too. So, just saw him. Just saw him at a, a new venue, an outdoor venue, Broadmoor Woods, which is part of Studio Six One Five, and it was a fabulous show. And Drew was out there, and I told somebody, I said, "Yeah, Drew was also part of Sons of the Desert, who sang the the the, the duet answer part with Leanne Womack on oh, I yeah. Hope You Dance." Yeah. So, for people who don't know. It's really in the '90s. We were more a family than I think than any other time. I agree. You 100%. know, yeah. And Drew, Drew is actually gonna gonna do um, a version of "I Hope You Dance Tomorrow Night," and it's so cool the the, the, the way he does it. It's like in that lower key for the man, but he still just just kills it. It's, <sighs> we're real excited. Well, I cannot wait. It's tomorrow night, and when do the doors open? Doors that are at six, and then um, at six thirty, the the uh, TSAI um, has a showcase. Uh huh. They usually put up a couple of songwriters there before, and then we hit the stage at seven. And perfect. Ten bucks, you cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. Chemo James Cash Creek, thank you so much for being part of it. And reach out to me every time you do a show. I, let's let's just come back and visit me, okay? Okay, absolutely. You might see us every day. Yeah. <laughs> You just come on. We'll yeah. be more like family yes, again. Yes, <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> well, this is the intranet. We can say whatever we want to say. That's right. That's, That's right. right. We can do whatever we want to. Well, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to right now and play some Cash Creek. Is that okay with y'all? Oh, my gosh. Please. Absolutely. Well, yes. uh, if you go to the Nashville Palace tomorrow night, it might look a little something like this. Bye, guys. Thank Bye, you, sweet. Man. I see you there Staring down At your shadow On the ground Like you can't Catch a break No When dreams start falling They can do some damage You can't see it now In all this wreckage But the dust Is gonna settle some don't even think of giving up That breakthrough is gonna come There's a fighter in everyone Who's strong enough to beat these hard times back You were made for that
Country music's my roots. It makes my soul feel like it's on fire. To me, country music is family history. It's precious. Country music is music for the common man and woman. Country music is about bringing the country together. And that's what this night is all about. Luke Bryan hosts the CMA Awards live Wednesday, November 10th on ABC. We have had so many people respond to our story about the White Bluff Screamer. And the person that got the conversation started is a history teacher and writer for the Dixon Post. Justin Spurlock is with us. Hi, Justin. Hi. It's nice to be here. I am so excited because history is one of my favorite subjects. And I love it's so rich in Middle Tennessee. How long have you been in the Dixon area? So I was born and raised in Dixon County. I've, I've spent a few years in my adult life kind of taking jobs here and there. But um, I was born here, raised here. So a lot of these stories that I'm telling are stories that I heard when I was growing up. And now many years later, I'm just trying to retell them to the public. You know, I will admit that we got a lot of response from the White Bluff Screamer. I had not heard that story but I will admit when I lived in the area, there were some nights I felt kind of creepy when I was outside. I felt like someone was watching me or something weird. So I'm not going to say it not, doesn't exist, but um, how did you start doing an, a little bit of, it's almost like ghost hunting. Yeah. Um, you know, I became interested in the history of this area growing up and, you know, I became a history teacher and um, so I, I tell stories every day to my students, uh, you know, they're yeah. history based stories over, you know, world history and American history and different things. But it's the local stories that really tend to connect with people. So, yeah. uh, you know, I told a few of those to my students and I could get the reaction from them uh, about how much they're enjoying it and how much, um, you know, that's that the story is connecting with them because it's a local story. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I just try to, I try to go out there and Excuse me. try to discover as many of these different stories as I can. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've heard the stories growing up, but for this particular story, I went to uh, a couple of historians that live in the white bluff area and they've lived there their whole life. And so I got to interview them and get their take on the story. And so yeah. um, it's just really been a lot of fun trying to uncover these things and sharing them with people. I've been really surprised at, how much feedback I've got about how, you know, how much people have really enjoyed the stories and, you know, they'd heard bits and pieces, but maybe they'd not heard the whole story. So it's been really satisfying to share that with people. Well, we're glad to have you as part of our family with the Dixon Post and, and sharing those stories. Now, as a historian of your area, what are some other big stories that we might be able to look forward to in the future? Some maybe that didn't have to do with a ghost, but historical figures and things that are in your area. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there, there's tons of different stories and uh, I've, I've been lucky to be able to make this connection with the Dixon post where they're allowing me to write some of these stories and mm -hmm. to put them in the paper. And uh, that's been really great. Um, I kind of put the feelers out there to the people who read the stories and ask them, you know, what do you guys want to hear? And so right now in Dixon, um, our main street, I don't know if you've had the chance to come down to main street on Dixon, but it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's a fantastic place. It's really special. And a lot of us, you know, really love that area. And, you know, maybe 20, 25 years ago, it wasn't as happening as it is now. But we've got a lot of new businesses and, and things going on in, in the downtown area. And so um, the next few stories that I would like to tell, and one of those will be in the paper um, on Wednesday, is just kind of how our Main Street got started and how the town of Dixon kind of got going. And you know, there's more than just a, a ghost story, which I told a couple of weeks yeah. ago on Main Street. But there's also, um, you know, there's been some famous people. I hate to give away, you know, everything. Oh, we'll but, hold that. But we'll hold that close. There's been some very famous uh, people in American history that are in my American history textbooks that actually came to Main Street. I'm going to tell that story in a couple of weeks. And there's been some other scandalous things. There's been some murders and some different uh, uh, other, you know, kind of tales that you know people are probably going to be interested in but um there's you know a lot of good good stories that are, are coming and uh, as long as i keep getting the opportunity to write them um, i'll keep putting them out there because you know i sketched it out the other day and i thought of you know 10 20 right off the top of my head really good stories that i think people would like to hear so we're going to start with the history of downtown dixon this wednesday and just kind of build off of that and i think people will be really surprised at some of the names 
uh, of some of the people that were in this area and some of the really good stories that are coming down the line. We encourage people to follow all of our Main Street papers. But if you want to find out these stories about Dixon, go to DixonPost.com. Uh, subscribe to the Dixon paper or go to our Facebook page because we're going to be sharing those stories as well as sharing them here on Main Street today. Thank you so much, Justin. And thank you for teaching our kids the history because without telling the stories, people lose the stories. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm just excited that people are enjoying reading because, you know, reading is uh, one of those things that's kind of come and gone, but uh, people are starting to read again and I'm enjoying them reading the stories. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wonder so aimless, life filled with sin. I would even my dear Savior in Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more in darkness, no more in night Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the Straight is the gate and narrow the way Now I have traded the wrong for the right Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more in darkness, no more in night Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside Aren't they great? That is Ransomed Bluegrass. And if you like good old bluegrass gospel, you can go this weekend. You can go to the Troubadour over Music Valley Drive. They're having the Bluegrass Showcase, the Bluegrass Gospel show, Showcase. Ten bucks a person and the kids get in free. Uh, you can call for tickets at 334-488-0024. Master of Ceremonies Sam Jackson will introduce all sorts of bluegrass gospel pickers and players and singers. You're going to want to sing along. They've got, they almost always have an open mic, so bring your axes. That means your banjos and your mandolins and your flat top guitars. That's the way you say it in bluegrass. Guitar. It's not a guitar. It's a guitar. And it's flat picking because that's the way we roll in bluegrass, right? You can go and it is November 5th. The doors open at four o'clock in the afternoon. November 5th, it's this Friday at the Troubadour and plenty of free parking. It's fantastic. Lots of great places to eat like over at the scoreboard or John A's. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Good, good food. And it is just yummy. And uh, the Nashville Palace. Well, there's, I'm going to tell you, we've got... Tomorrow night, we got, you know, cash 
uh, Cash Creek and their crew going to be there tomorrow night. And then moving over to the Troubadour. It's a lot going on in the Valley. Let's move on to Hendersonville real quickly. The Chamber Luncheon is today starting right now. 1130 Chamber Luncheon is taking place, presented by Good Pasture with Dr. Dell Phillips speaking. And let's see the ballroom at the park at the Westchester building. That's going on this week. Uh, Chelsea is going to be doing some dancing, 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 dance lessons, ballroom dancing. That's down in our Spring Hill area where Murray, Main Street Murray, our newspaper down there. Let's go over to Hendersonville when Pigs Fly is Saturday, November 6th with Marty Rabin, Lindsay L., Rockland Road, Josh Kaiser, Tim and TJ Watson, Will Wakehazer, hosted by my buddy, the best ears in Nashville, Whiskey Jams, Ward Gunther. And heading over to the mill in Lebanon Friday and Saturday, the mill at Christmas. It's fantastic. Don't want to miss that. A chance to shop for Christmas. Let's head over right now to the Gallatin Civic Center, November 20th. Save the date, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Good stuff happening with the Gallatin Civic Center with their Christmas Harvest Craft Show. Oh, my goodness. And do not forget backstage. Nashville, get your tickets right now. Gary Nicholson will join our Leslie Satcher, Ray Stevenson, and a young lady named Natalie Madigan. If you don't know her, get your tickets at BackstageNashville.net. Lots of stuff happening. If you've got something going on, be sure to reach out to me. And we're going to close our show. We have been paying tribute to during the 70th birthday week to Jimbo Henson, an amazing writer. We love him so much. And he and his lovely wife, Brenda, and hopefully they'll see this show. They came to visit me at WSM along with their buddies, the Goldens. Rusty and Chris were in studio with me and Jimbo came along and they sang a song of Jimbo's that Steve Earle recorded called Hillbilly Highway. And it was so much fun. We're going to close our show. Remember, be safe, be kind. Remember, most of all, you are loved. Have a great rest of your day. Happy 70th, Jimbo. Loving you. Yeah.